Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Marco and today we are continuing Code Gears, episode number 5. Last episode was equally crazy, just like uh, first three episodes. As I keep saying, the pace is insane. So many things are happening and the cliffhangers are nasty. Every freaking time there is some sort of crazy cliffhanger that basically makes you think, oh shit, what's gonna happen next? Like, it's so incredible. So, in the last episode, we were saving Suzaku, Lelouch's childhood friend, who got framed for the murder of Prince Clovis. So, they announced his death to the public, and of course, they want to... The people of the soldiers of Britannia, especially that guy Jeremiah, right, and his group, they want to abolish that honorary Britannian, the title that it doesn't exist at all, right? They are very, very extreme when it comes to treatment of Japanese 11s, right? So, of course, that they wanted to pin that on Suzaku, but it didn't work, thanks to Zero, which is alias of Lelouches that he came up with, and uh, his mask and the cape, he looks so dope. The character designs in but Gias, again, are very, very unique. i never seen that style before. They're all so tall, man. And they have pretty faces, man. It's, it's pretty unique. I vibe with it. So, yeah. Uh, Suzaku got rescued. But before that, we got to see how brilliant of a tactician Lelouch is. Yet again, he led, he navigated Kale, Nogi and their group on that train where he controlled everyone with his... Geese power, we learned that it's called Gears from the title, they were all having red eyes. So that was really brilliant and he orchestrated this plan and they rolled with it, man. They believed him because the first day he was commanding them, they had success unlike any 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 time before, right? And I like when Lelouch said that he would defeat Britannia, he was saying something along the lines that's reckless, you can't defeat Britannia like that. And this guy, Yogi, is like, defeat? This guy actually thinks that we can defeat them. So that piqued his interest even more. So he decided to believe Lelouch. And the plan was freaking brilliant. He was using that. Uh, the vehicle that is supposed to be for, uh, I guess, king or royalty, right? And Suzaku was outside because... Uh, that guy Jeremiah made like a deal with that TV reporter. By the way, that TV reporter didn't want to join him, right? To fabricate the information. Jeremiah straight up said that he needs someone who can mani manipulate information. So props to that guy. He didn't join him. Uh, but yeah, uh, Lelouch with his freaking big brain move. He took all those Britannians present who came to see uh, the vehicle passing with Suzaku, right? He took them all hostage because he had that like poison or whatever gas bomb. So Jeremiah paused and he was thinking carefully about his next move because he couldn't just straight up go for the kill there. And it was the chance that Lelouch took and he used Gias on Jeremiah to order him to let them pass, man. And there were there was some resistance, but Jeremiah was like ordering his people stop what are you doing like they have to obey they don't know that he is being controlled man so yeah it was a brilliant plan we rescued suzaku and suzaku after being rescued was so stubborn and he still wanted to go to the court even though everyone was against him because they hate like that it's like basically <sighs> discrimination and the lawyer their judge Everyone was already against Suzaku, and despite that, he still goes and he says that he would rather die than to live like that, right? He's very prideful dude, and he wants to, to do the right thing, even though <laughs> the things are not right, man. Like, how to put, I don't know how to put it, man. Like, everything is fabricated to, to pin uh, the crime down to him, and he, he accepts it. If he thinks that that will somehow, like, be a good thing for Elevens and Britannians, but also he was saying, I have to go back be because they will start accusing 
11 cent honorary Britannians, right? So I guess he's doing this for them. But whatever the case may be, he's a very prideful dude and he uh, wants to do what he think, thinks is right. And Lelouch was obviously pissed. Nanali was kind of happy to hear that. I don't know if she was listening on, or uh, the news or watching, uh, not listening the news from the TV. And she was happy and suddenly the green hair girl appears behind her man and that's how the episode ends as i said she was there when suzaku and alush were kids she has some sort of uh connection to lelouch or something that is not normal and that power that mark right and that quick shot of bunch of people having that mark on their forehead she has to be from some sort of special clan or something i'm really curious about that so without further ado let's start episode number five guys let's go all right guys everything is ready let us begin what the fuck okay we're clearly at war but wait what did he say Shouldn't they be stationed in Serbia? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I can't believe this is real, bro. I think this is the first time that I saw my country being mentioned in anime, bro. <laughs> what the hell is going on here, bro? Am I watching the right show? This guy looks like that they are from Middle East, right? Like... <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe this shit. What the fuck is going on? Oh my god, that one looks badass! Cornelia. Establishment of Area 11. Princess? Oh, th these are Britannians as well, right? Bro, she is pretty. I will drag you out, Zero, to avenge Clovis, there we go. Bro, what a wild beginning of the episode, I did not expect them to mention Serbia, bro, like, what are the chances? So, she's pro definitely trying to conquer another area, right, she said area 11, uh, 18. Oh my god! <laughs> She's so casual. It's like she befriended Nanali already. <clears throat> CC. It was like initials, yeah. What? Promise to share the future. Oh my god, bro. What is the deal with her? I mean, she, he is worried. Wow, <laughs> you need to do some explaining. I see what Lelouch is trying to do. Yeah, that's not enough. Supposed to be dead! Thank you! <laughs> Bro. Do you like the power I gave you? Was he trying to control her? Yep, and that didn't work. The plan to destroy Britannia. <laughs> she looks kinda chill. You're an interesting person. So he doesn't know much about him, bro. She took her clothes and <laughs> she <laughs> She took his bed, bro. What is happening? Yeah. Oh, she doesn't want to speak about contract. Man, Whew. I have a feeling that we will see a lot more of her. All right. 
It clearly motivates them, inspires them. He lost his leadership position. It makes sense though. Liberation Front of those people, the military guys. It was the code. <laughs> Damn. She doesn't want to speak about it. Pizza Hut, what the fuck? Yeah. And he's such a young guy and he managed to do already so much. The world will plunge into even greater chaos. Holy shit, I'm here for it, man. Oh, did he arrive to the court? Yeah, zero. What the fuck? Why is there a girl falling from the building? Bro, if he wasn't passing there, she would be dead. Yeah, something is clearly wrong. She made that was okay? Why is she being chased? Oh, Cornelia is coming. All sorts of theories about Jeremia right now. <laughs> they don't know a shit. Oof. Oof. But he really doesn't remember. Sucks to suck. She's so Lelouch in episode 1. Yuffie? Wait, he's the son of Prime Minister Rogi Genbu. Oh, that's right. They said that his father is like important person or whatever his family. She lied. Did she want to get in touch with him on purpose? It's so hard to read, man. That's a cute cat. <laughs> he doesn't like Suzaku. Oh, that fuck is so wild, what the fuck? Did they notice Suzaku? <laughs> One-sided love. She clearly... Kinda... Like Suzaku. Hmm. Bro, it's like they're literally on a date. I like this OST. And he's being followed by the dude and the girl who prepared Lancelot for Suzak. Hey, it's literally a date, bro. <laughs> Shinjuku. Am I missing something? She wants to get in touch with Zero. Oh my god! She's here! <laughs> She's gonna give Lelouch a hard time, it seems, man. I kinda like her energy, bro. She seems like a troll. Bro, that girl... Oh my god! This girl will think that he's kissing Kalen, bro. What the fuck? Lelouch and his relationships here, man, are hilarious. Oh, he's still alive. She's pretending to be like a student. Outside, no matter where I go, 
What is that supposed to mean? So she doesn't have home. That is so fucked up! What the fuck, Lelouch? Why would he do that? The, the test of duration. Complices. I love it. Shinjuku, yeah. It was so brutal, man. That happened in the first episode. Some bumps are taking pictures there. Oh, she's on the moon now. This show is so loud. Yeah. Oh. He got backhand slap. And he wants to make peace between the two nations, man. Yeah. Yeah, that was necessary. Do I like when this OST kicks in, bro? Yeah, just let it go, man. Shinjuku is literally in the middle, kind of, right? It's probably very tough for him as well. Oh. See? See this shit, man! The guy stopped him to prevent them from hurting each other, man, and they... Oh, okay, Yuffie. Okay. 270 meters. Sheesh. Batman is so smart. Over the third of the world. Eleven Oh, I like this transition. Yo. Someone must break this chain. Someone we won't lose those dear to us. Yeah, his answer is destroy the Britannia. And Suzaku doesn't have still clear, like, the goal that he wants to do while Lelouch wants to start up destroy Britannia and win. No way that they lured him in! Oh, the Britannians are wild! They want to get rid of Jeremia. Oh, nice! I love this too, bro. You have to do us with us again. And he's gonna intervene in another battle, man. He's such a righteous dude. Holy shit. Yep, there he comes. Lancelot is in the house. Yes, and he came to your rescue, and you wanted to get rid of him. <laughs> what a fucking show, bro. So cool. Those blades, man. The way they became red, look at this. 
and he will probably try to take them out without killing them. That's the type of guy he is. What the way he cut straight to that table. Oh, he's trying to go for Jeremiah. Oh, there she is! Violetta. Bro. What the chaos depth charge? Oh, bro. The girl. It managed to tank everything. Oh, I thought it was some sort of like a bomb with huge explosion. Yo, there is no way. So she is actually the princess. As well. And she also has the pink hair, just like the Cornelia we saw at the beginning. <laughs> he came to apologize, but I feel like she likes Suzaku. Wow. So she kinda shares the same ideals as Suzaku. Really? Even your own sister? Damn, Cornelia is harsh. Bro, what the fuck is her deal? Oh, she wants them to capture Zero just like that. Why don't you do it yourself? Bro, this is what I've been talking about. Look at this shit, man. Look at this shit. Yet another insane cliffhanger. So you are telling me that Suzaku will have will go to the same class as Lelouch right now. Bro. Alright guys, that was episode number 5 of Code Geass, and I have a feeling that I need to rewatch this episode, man. All these episodes are fast paced and they contain so much important material man that it's just seems so hard to grasp at once man so clearly the king of britannia has a lot a lot of children and we met two more right so there is lelouch clovis that got murdered by lelouch cornelia and uh, yuffie or what what did she say her real, uh, full name is like euphemia or something so I should make that connection, the pink hair, but I'm thinking like they won't uh, introduce so many like of royalty, but yeah, we got to meet two new princesses in this episode, man. And Cornelia seems very, very cocky and very harsh. And that poor guy who made like, made sure that her arrival goes smooth. He was almost shot because he was saying all those things, but he doesn't say we captured Zero. She wants them to capture Zero no matter what, man. Of course, it seems like the bond between the siblings of royal family is very close. Judging by what Cornelia uh, wants to do with Zero, right? She seems very pissed that he killed Clovis, but also at the same time she tells Yuffie to address her as like governor or commander or some shit. I, I didn't even remember that title. Which maybe has to do something with her age. Yuffie seems a lot younger than her, so I don't know, man. But one thing that I'll say about Cornelia, she is very pretty, man, but <laughs> she she seems like very, very hard to reason with, man. And at the beginning of the episode, she was like basically conquering another area area 18 or whatever and it seems like to be one of the 
uh, Middle East countries, uh, perhaps Saudi Arabia or something. I don't know. I'm just making random guesses. And they mentioned the name of nightmares or material that is stationed in Serbia for whatever reason, man. I, I guess that's kind of cool, man. I, I still can't believe that they mentioned my country in anime, man. I, I kind of... Not kind of, I feel honored, man. <laughs> that's that's dope. So, not only that we met those characters, but we met CC, those initials. We still don't know her full name. And the way she is conducting herself, she seems very, like, chill and, like, free-spirited. And I don't know what her goal is. She doesn't want to, to talk about that contract. Lelouch and she's appearing there in school right giving Lelouch some anxiety so he had to take Cullen's face right to look straight to him and the poor girl with orange hair was looking through window and from her point of view from that angle it seemed like Lelouch was kissing Cullen so if she has a crush on Lelouch which, which is very likely it really sucks man but it kind of sucks or Lelouch as well, because he didn't kiss Cullen, man. But yeah, the fact that he's testing Gia's duration on that poor girl is wild. But how else would you be able to test it? I guess it's not like that harmful, I guess, to like randomly <laughs> like carve cross or plus in those uh, bricks on the wall. <laughs> Everyone will think that she's a weirdo, but it is what it is, so that's a good way to test the duration, and he was breaking down what he learned about Gia so far, and the girl CC was impressed. I also like her design, and she seems very, very chill, and she said something interesting, that she, like, she implied that she doesn't have anywhere to go home, and we saw that quick flash of that like tribe-like people with that mark on their forehead so could she be like the member of extinct civilization or whatever that had these special powers i'm really intrigued by her character we saw yuffie and suzaku going on a date uh, the contrast between suzaku and lelouch at the very beginning they keep saying kept saying a bunch of the same things right and they were growing up together, they went through that shit together, it seems, right? But at the end, Lelouch wants to destroy the other side, while Suzaku still doesn't have a clear, like, idea how to settle this, but he's trying to end the conf conf uh, conflict, and he uh, separated those uh, guys from Britannia who came to Shinjuku to take pictures, and uh, the both sides kind of lashed out on him, which makes sense. He's in the middle. Uh, Britannians don't rock with him. Japanese also don't rock with him because he's honorary Britannian. So he's truly in the middle. So it's not really easy for Suzaku at all. And his father died. And I guess Clovis died. So Yuffie and Suzaku have something in common. And she seems like she wants to end conflict as well. So I think Suzaku and Yuffie are kind of similar in that regard. Pretty, pretty amazing story and, and writing. I'm really enjoying literally every second of this show. But as I said, I have a feeling that I need to rewatch some of these episodes because it things go down incredibly fast. I will end the video here for today. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope that you enjoyed. If you did, consider subscribing, leave a like, comment, all that good stuff as always. Check out my Patreon page if you want to see full and early reactions. I will be seeing you very soon with another video. Until then, take care and have a nice day. See ya, guys.